Okay, what's up guys? So, this is a game I've been working on for a college class. A, it's called a 2D game design or 2D prototyping or something like that. Um, show you how it works, uh, what it looks like. So, go into 1920 by 1080. Um, controls here. Just start game. Oh wait, one thing I need to change is the player's start. I had to move that over for something needed to test something so save and go back to the main menu and play so we can go into 1920 by 1080 start game so there's a point system here um, it doesn't do anything yet I'm still trying to work out how I'm gonna do that what I'm gonna do with the points uh, either they're gonna some of the ideas I have is they're gonna either regenerate health once you get um, so many points, like maybe 20 points, and the other idea that I have is it gives you some kind of invincibility, so you can just kind of run through these enemies. Uh, the other thing that I'm gonna do is the end of this level, I'm gonna turn into a jungle environment so that it kind of transitions over to the second level um... here we have this uh... we gotta wait for the boat or the log whatever uh... this is line going across the screen i'm not sure what that is i think that's from a sprite it's gotta be one of the sprites so that's there um... so far i only have two levels so yeah, level three. The button doesn't work yet. So that's what it, what I have so far. So when you start the game, it's gonna start with this uh, main menu level. And let me open the level blueprint. So on game start, it's gonna create a widget called main menu. And uh, that looks like this. Uh, let me open it up. Main menu. Um, I made this in Blender, made the image. Uh, it has a start game, a quick game, um, yeah, content, uh, yeah, that's what we want. Um, it has this resolution box, uh, it's a scroll, oops. It's like a scroll thing, so you can scroll through your resolutions. Um, if we look here, we have on clicked. So console command sets the resolution. Um, so uh, if you click on the button start game, it'll open level one. Um, quit game, it'll quit the game. <laughs> Um, so that's it. I had an options button, but the problem I had a problem with the um, resolution panel coming up. Like there's this options uh, menu box. So I had that set to hidden, and when you click the button, the options button, it would set that to visible, but it wasn't working when I uh, ran the standalone. Um, version like when I packaged the game and ran it it wouldn't work so I had to get rid of that um, other than that everything works so we have the resolutions we have the buttons here so the um, player AI uh, check that out. we can look at the viewport here check them out um, which is a co uh, collision capsule with a sprite and camera and that's how that guy works um, this is the for the uh, this controls the camera like everything for the camera um, oops and then in the event graph we have uh, movement input so this is all taken from uh, the 
project settings so if I just type in input so these are all the input keys um, oh wait, no never mind no those aren't where are they um, hold up I just gotta find it in here okay so yeah you got action mapping so jump W uh, works for jump the up arrow key uh, the space bar and then it has a controller uh, thing for it then you have your move right so that's A D and again the controller and then left and right arrow keys work so um, that's where that's this is coming from then this sets the direction based on this variable um, I, I don't know how all this works how, somehow some of this works um, the jump so this is also um, from the settings in the project settings and then there's this uh, state machine kind of thing so if it, it gets the um where it does that what does this happen it gets somewhere it gets the speed I believe of the character the velocity and if the velocity is uh, greater than uh, okay so if it, yeah if it's greater than zero then it'll play this uh, is this the right one um, I'm not sure. Um, so this is the dead. Uh, yeah, if it's greater than zero, then it. Yeah, true. For true, it'll play run. This run animation. If it's false, then. Then it'll play idle. Um, this is the def the idle. Also. Um, so if it's an idle state, then it plays this idle animation. Um, That's the um this is for the HUD where the health bar is and everything. This is the health system. So it has this custom event called damage or damage system. And then it's getting this variable that I made called health current and based on what variable this gets, it'll subtract that from whatever this is currently and it'll set that uh set the health current. And then if health current is less than equal to um, if that's true then it'll go to dead so if that's less than or equal to zero then it'll set the state to dead and if it's dead then it will uh, create this widget called dead and over here it'll um, st uh, play the dead f uh, animation um, movement update um, yeah, so that's just updating the animation, and then over here is the jump. So that's how the player works. Um, this is the enemy. Um, that's what he looks like. And here's the damage, how the damage works. So it'll uh, get this variable damage value, and it'll send it to the damage system, and then over in the player where that uh, where you saw that damage uh, event um, where you saw that uh, saw this uh, damage system that's where that's happening um, AI for the second enemy so it's got this orb thing and then it's got the particle system and then it's set to move uh, in one direction until it hits an object and then once it hits an object it turns around and moves in the other direction so that's how that works there's also a log in uh, level 2 so that uh, I can open that up in the maps so we'll go to level 2 and this log here so it has this um, location variable so it'll go to that location 
so it gets its current location and then it um let me open it and so it gets its lo current location um and it sets the yeah it's setting the uh, location as the target here or no no never mind so the target is the log and it's setting this variable location which is here as its new location where it, so that's where it's going so that's um, see how this works uh, jump over that get that point so yeah it went there and got knocked into the water um, gotta wait for it to come back now where to go there it is okay so it'll come over here uh, there's an orb thing there some points over here then yep that's how that works so there's no level three yet um, I gotta do that so that's pretty much uh, the game that I'm working on right now uh, some of the sprites I made um, are here so this tree I made this in ace uh, ace sprite and um, yeah kind of wanted to see what that would do set it back to 15 We'll do 20 frames per second. Okay, so that's um, that's my game so far. So yeah, that's the points. Idle animation, jump animation. Um, dead. Oh wait. This kind of a clipping here. So if I can't, yeah, I can pause it right here. So it looks like it clipped somewhere. Oh. Okay, no, it didn't. It's just, I guess, the. Oh, no, 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 right there. So yeah, it's kind of clipped. But that's fine. Um. Yeah, you can see then that frame there. So when I was animating it, I must have took his head off. So anyhow, that's what I've got so far for this game. So if you have any ideas or whatever, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment. Um, for level two, I'm gonna add a level or a ladder mechanic so that you can climb trees, and I'm gonna make this level a little more interesting. So, other than that, um, that's it. So, I'll see you guys later.